Hello year one and welcome to our history lesson number four, all about toys from the past. As with all our lessons, we always start with a knowing more and remembering more slide. Here we've got our two questions and our challenge for this week. If you have the sheet in front of you, you can pause after I've said the questions and write the answers down. Let's look at the questions. Question one. My parents and grandparents did not have toys. True or false? Question number two. Which type of toy and game became popular during the 1980s and the 1990s? Was it Lego, remote control cars, computer games or dolls? And our challenge question, what toy was invented because of the American president, Theodore Roosevelt? Let's have a look at the answers. Question one, my parents and grandparents did not have toys. Well, this is false. We know this is false. We saw some of the toys last week. Question two. Which type of toy and game became popular during the 1980s and the 1990s? It was the computer games. And the challenge question, what toy was invented because of the American president, Theodore Roosevelt? It was a teddy bear. And we found that out last lesson. Let's find out what we're doing today. Today, we're looking at how were toys made in the past? Here are three things that we're going to be doing this lesson. Number one, I can recognise that toys and the way of life was different in the long ago past. I can use historical sources to answer basic questions about the past. I can communicate my knowledge through making models and role play. In our knowledge organiser, we are looking at this bit, the Victorian toys. These are the toys that we're looking at today. We're right at the very end of our timeline, right at the Victorian toys. OK, we're going to learn about more toys from very long ago and how they were made. We've already had a look at the toys that we have now, the toys that our parents have and our grandparents. And the early 20th century, and look, we're right here at the end now of our timeline, our Victorian toys. Very long ago, before the 20th century, the Queen was called Victoria. So we call the people who lived then Victorians. And here they are right at the end of our timeline in the 19th century. Hmm, what materials do you think Victorian toys were made from? Pause the video here and talk to your adult or your brother or sister about what materials you think some of these toys were made from. Hmm. Well, there are lots of different toys that the Victorians had, and you've seen some of the pictures there, and I've got some here. I think from using our science knowledge, we could get some of the materials just from looking at them. But I've got another question for you. Why are there no electronic or plastic toys in our Victorian toy box? Pause the video here and have a chat with someone who's in your house. Well done, children. The Victorians didn't have electronic or plastic toys. A lot of their toys, like we can see here, were made from metal or china or wood. They just didn't have the, uh, ele electronic or plastic toys back in the Victorian time.
Sometimes toys in the past were moved by clockwork, and we just saw a clockwork toy up on the screen here. You would wind the toy with a key at the back and the cogs would turn and make the toy move. And we've just seen one up here. We, it was a toy uh, bashing a drum. And the toy we've got here, if you wound this key, all the little people would move round and round. So they didn't need an electronic toy. They had clockwork toys. Very long ago, toys were very expensive because they were handmade by a toy maker. Nowadays, we can go to the shops and we can pick up a toy and there's lots of the same toy. But very long ago, toys were made by one single person, maybe in a village or in a town. So they would have to be very expensive because they had to be made just by that one person. Here's another question for you. Have a look at these pictures that I've got on the screen. What toys would rich Victorian children play with? Pause the video and have a talk about the toys that you can see in the pictures. Well done, year one children. Let's have a look ourselves. Children from rich families would play with rocking horses, dolls' houses, tea sets and toy soldiers. Just like the ones we can see here. Here's our rocking horse and our dolls and our tea sets. And I think over here, look, our toy soldiers. Poor children would make their own toys at home. Here's an example of some toys that poor children might have made, and they're called peg dolls. What materials would you need to make your own peg doll? Pause the video and talk to your grown up about what material you would use. Well done, children. Let's have a look and see if you're right. They would use wooden pegs and scraps of material. A thermotrope. A thermotrope is a popular Victorian toy involving a spinning card to make an optical illusion. We're going to watch a short clip of how a thermotrope works. Well done, children. So let's see what has changed. We're looking today at Victorian toys. Now we know that the materials have changed. The materials they used in Victorian times were wood, metal, and china. The technology has changed. There's no electronic toys in the Victorian time. They were, they were often made from clockwork. 
And the manufacturing process, how the toys were made, was different in the Victorian times. They were mostly handmade, whereas today they're made in factories. Your task today, children, is to see if you can make a thermotrope of your own. Here I've got an example. I've got a jar and a butterfly. If I cut these out and put them together like our video and spin them, it, it will look like the butterfly is inside the jar. At home, can you have a go of making a thermotrope of your own? Now it's the end of our lesson, children. It's time to test our knowledge. What have we learned from this lesson? First question, what is this toy? Pause the video and tell your adult or grown up or member of your family, what is this toy? Question two, who would play with it? A rich child or a poor child? Tell the person in your household. Question three, what materials are used to make it? Pause the video and tell your adult. And question four, is it made by a machine or made by hand? Pause the video and tell your adult. Well done, children. You've done some fantastic learning today in history and I look forward to seeing some of your own thermotropes very soon.